This is IP Console, Catalyst's full-featured dispatch and interoperability solution. Today we'll be demonstrating some of the capabilities of this tool. This infinitely configurable user interface is currently supporting 16 concurrent audio paths. Eight of them are displayed on this first tab and eight more on the second tab. Each of these modules can represent a different channel, a different talk group, a different radio system, a different frequency band. There's incredible flexibility here. I'll highlight the Project 25 interface that Catalyst has built using the digital fixed station interface standard. Catalyst has a full control through this Ethernet interface that not only provides unit ID and alias, but advanced features like the emergency indication that allow you to see the unit ID and alias of the radio that declared that emergency. Catalyst also supports digital mobile radio, Verizon push to talk, MDC 1200, SmartNet, FleetSync, and a variety of other radio systems. The Catalyst console features an integrated interoperability solution. The system administrator can allocate specific patches through these favorite buttons to particular dispatchers or give the ability for a dispatcher to create patches on the fly using ad hoc patching. These are simple patches that simply require a few clicks of the mouse and, vi and quickly visually indicate which channels are patched together. Also integrated into the Catalyst console is the ability to do paging. So I might select, uh, for instance, this conventional channel and send even a series of stacked pages through that radio channel. The console provides me with a real-time update as to which pages have been sent and gives me the ability to cancel those at any time. We also have the ability to steer these pages to particular channels through particular radio interfaces and even the ability to set those radios back to the original channel that they were on if that's the, the way the system administrator wants it set up. Catalyst supports situational awareness. I'll demonstrate through our auxiliary I.O. capability how we can visually see intuitive graphics that indicate, for instance, when doors open and close. And you'll, uh, you'll notice that I get not only a visual, but also a unique audible to help me better understand what's going on around me. At the bottom here, you'll see our call history screen. I'm currently viewing the, the activity from all 16 of these concurrent audio paths and I have the capability of going in and selecting a particular one and playing that audio back instantly right from it or even zooming in on a particular uh, call, a particular radio channel like this P25 channel so that I can select audio there or see the activity in a text format. In addition, I have the ability to play back the last call, back. call on call each module right from that module itself. I hope that you'll also view our other videos on our propulsion console and our IP link capabilities and that you'll visit our website so that you can learn how you can take the power to control.